Hi, it's Dan Herbert here. In this video, we're going to set up some variations using probability and follow actions. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to shorten the loop of this clip down to an eighth note, and then I'm going to duplicate that, click on the loop brace, press the up arrow key, click here, duplicate. So it takes a little bit of setting up, but it's really fairly painless. I'm just going to speed this up. So what I want to end up with is eight clips, all of an eighth note in length. So there we've got our eight clips. So I'm going to select all of those. And it says eight clips and the line has gone stripey over here. And I'm going to click on the launch box. And here we can see follow actions in this part of the clip view. So what I want to do is I want to randomly select these clips. So to do that, I'm just going to set that to zero because I'm working with eighth notes. So zero, zero, two. And then here I'm going to select any. So now if I press play, Ableton selects those clips at random and basically remixes this loop for me. Now the interesting thing here is we can actually choose two actions. And I'm going to choose next here. And the number boxes underneath are the probability of whether it chooses each one. So I'm going to use percentage here. You don't have to use percentage, but it just makes more sense to me. So here, 50-50, we've got a 50% chance of it performing a random action or going on to the next clip. Let's press play. Or you could say, actually, most of the time I want it to follow through the normal sequence and a little part of the time I want it to be random. So let's set the random percent to 20 percent and then the next action to 80 percent. Let's have a listen. So the interesting thing about this technique is we can use it to remix beats like this example or even set it up to vary the structure of a track using longer loops.